Insidious 5 was officially confirmed in October 2020 and the horror sequel will mark Patrick Wilson's directorial debut. A fifth Insidious movie might be a surprise to some after the fourth movie. Insidious, The Last Key, received the worst reviews of the series to date. However, that movie also ended up being the highest grossing of the series with $168 million worldwide. That might not seem like much, but the fourth movie had a reported budget of only $10 million. Overall, the series has grossed more than $540 million worldwide from a reported overall budget of just over $25 million. So a fifth movie seemed inevitable. One of the primary reasons the interest and appetite from fans has lasted for Insidious is because the people involved in the first film have stayed involved and kept it vital. Interesting and good, said producer Jason Bloom. And the series is finally going back to its roots after the prequel movies, as Insidious 5 will bring back the Lambert family after their supernatural encounters in the first two movies. But what else can we expect from Insidious 5? Here's everything you need to know. Insidious 5 release date. When can we expect Insidious 5? During the movie's announcement at Blumfist in October 2020, it was confirmed that the fifth movie would be arriving in cinemas sometime in 2022, according to Jason Bloom. The producer didn't get any more specific than that and we've not had any further information since. The release dates of the previous for movies don't point to a specific time of year, having been released in April, September, June and January, respectively. Perhaps they'll aim for a Halloween release in 2022, which would give them some flexibility in terms of filming the sequel this year. Insidious 5 cast, who's coming back for Insidious 5? The only confirmed cast members so far for the fifth movie are Patrick Wilson as Josh Lambert and Ty Simpkins as his son Dalton Lambert. Despite her death in the first movie, Lynn Shea has been an ever-present in the series as Elise Rainier so we'd expect her to be back again as Eliza's ghost, along with Lee Whannell and Angus Sampson as Eliza's colleagues Spex and Tucker. Before the Insidious 5 announcement was made, Shea had said in September 2020 that she'd be keen to return. I'm good with whatever, if we come back, I'm in the further this time. So that will be different, she told ComingSoon.net. It was a really beautiful arc for me to find as the character and in the storyline. Now it's in my memory and I would love it if there was another one. It's not yet clear if Rose Byrne will be back as Renai Lambert or Barbara Hershey as Josh's mother Lorraine, both last seen in the franchise in Insidious, Chapter 2. Behind the scenes, Halloween Kills writer Scott Teams has written the script based on a story by the franchise's co-creator Lee Whannell, while as mentioned above, Patrick Wilson makes his directorial debut. Insidious 5 Plot What will Insidious 5 be about? Plot details are scarce right now, but we do know that the fifth movie will take place ten years after the end of Chapter 2 as Dalton begins college. Talking about why he decided to make Insidious 5 his directorial debut, Wilson did offer some hints about what we can expect and how the fifth movie connects to the events of the first two movies. We rarely get the opportunity to come back ten years later. Especially if you think about the lore of Insidious and this family, specifically me and Ty, our characters being hypnotized. What does that do to a family after ten years? He explained. Watching Dalton go to college and what does that do? Watching a young man go to college and all the new experiences and feeling like an outsider trying to fit in. He's got this ability that he doesn't even know that he has of being an astral projector and traveler. After so long, are we still hypnotized? Is there still that trance? What does that do to your life? What does that do to your marriage? And then what does that do for a father and son relationship? In case you needed reminding, the end of chapter to saw Josh and Dalton allowing themselves to have their memories suppressed again so they'd forget all about the further and all the demons it holds include the bride in black and lipstick face demon. We can't see it being an insidious movie without a trip into the further. So we'll wait and see what persuades Josh and or Dalton to head back into the spirit realm. Insidious 5 trailer, any Insidious 5 footage yet? Sadly, it hasn't started filming, but depending on its release date in 2022, we could see some first look footage at Halloween 2021, perhaps timed with the release of Halloween Kills in cinemas. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.